write a program to sum two numbers without using plus operator. Let's find out how to answer this question in a technical interview. When we look at a problem like this, the first thought that comes to mind is somehow I should be using binary numbers. And that's the right thought. But along with using binary numbers, we really need to understand how addition actually works. To understand how addition really works, let's take an example. Let's take two numbers, 29 and 33, and let's try to add them. So we first sum up the digits at the units place, that is 9 and 3. They sum up to 12, so we put 2 at the bottom and we carry over 1. Then next, we move on to the tens place. So we look at 2 and 3 and then there is a carryover from the previous addition. So we sum all three of them which sum up to 6. We put 6 at the bottom. Next, let's try to do the same thing in binary. So what happens? At the very first bit, you, you start from right to left. So you have 1 and 1. You sum them up. 1 and 1, it becomes 0 and then you will carry over a 1. Now you move to the second bit. So now you have 0 and 0 and you have a carryover of 1 which again sum up to 1. Similarly, you can do the same procedure for the rest of the digits and you will see this result. So in order to understand that how we can do this without using plus operator, we need to divide our procedure into two components. One is if you simply add the digits without using the carryover and one is if you were to take only the carryover. Let me demonstrate what I mean by that. Imagine you are in a place where there is no facility of carryovers. So what will change in our previous example? The only bit that will change is this one. Now, let's look at the same two numbers and you have to take into account only carryovers. So what will be the result in such a scenario? With only carryover, our result will look something like this. As you can see, there is only one single bit in this result and this is actually just the same bit which was taken away from the previous component. So now, here is the thing to realize. If you sum up these two components, that is the result with no carryover and the result with only carryover, you will get your final result. But the problem was that we are not allowed to use the plus operator. So how do we tackle that? Well, you need to realize that if the only carryover part is more than zero, then only you will be adding it to the non-carryover component. You can keep repeating the same process of, you know, no carryover and only carryover unless and until the only carryover becomes just a zero. To demonstrate that, let me add these two numbers with no carryover and you can see that you will get your final result set back with a carryover of zero. So as you can see, what we did is we took component one and component two and we applied the same process. We applied the non carryover addition on them and we can see the result set here. And then we applied just carryover on those two components and then we can see the result is simply a zero. So once the carryover, only carryover part is zero, then we know that the non carryover part is actually the final sum that we were looking for. Next, let's try to understand how we can compute these components without using the plus operator. That's the requirement of the problem. If you were given two binary numbers and you have to compute a result set like this, that is addition without any carryover, 
then you can easily see that XOR operation is the one that will give us such a result set. In order to compute the result set for only carryover, the first thing that comes to mind is an AND operation. However, you have to realize that it's not just a simple AND operation, it's actually an AND operation and then you will have to left shift all the digits by one. You can take a moment to pause and understand that how these two result sets are computed using XOR and AND left shifted by one to get these components. Finally, how will the code look like for this problem? I have written a recursive solution on the whiteboard. As you can see, we take input two numbers, A and B. We check if B is zero, then simply return A. That's the base condition that we usually have for each and every recursive operation. Next, we compute the XOR of A and B and we save it in C. Then we compute the AND operation followed by left shift of one and we save it in D. And then we recursively call our method of adding C and D. I'll be providing the GitHub link to the actual working solution in the video description. I will highly recommend that you should try it on your own before you look at the working solution or you just clone the repo. I hope that you liked this interview question. I'll be adding more such questions to my YouTube channel. So please subscribe and feel free to like, comment and share this video. Until next time, happy coding.